Hello everyone, I'm just me Marlene and welcome to my YouTube channel. To everyone who already knows me, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you very much for joining me. Now grab a snack, sit back and relax and let's get into the video. In today's video, we are having a look at Yoins. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Um, I did take a wee sneak peek into the bag um, simply because the order note notification that was on here um it has my name and address on but it doesn't actually say where it's from um my parcel has been repacked by the shipping company so i wasn't actually sure where this parcel was from so i had to have a sneak peek in there but that's as far as i've gone i haven't actually taken it out and had a look at the clothes just yet um i believe i ordered five pieces and then after i'd ordered i actually realized that i had a jacket um, the reason I actually realized was because as I was ordering, it came up as a suggested item on the website. And then I thought, I have that code. Let's pull that out as well. So we're going to have a look at that in the end as well. Um, but yeah, I don't even remember what I've ordered. So I'm going to be as surprised as you are. Um, for sure. Let's get stuck in there. Joins. Is that how you pronounce it? Joins. Mm. As usual, I dropped the belt. Oh, wow. Do you know what? I don't even remember ordering this. This is so pretty. Right, I just hung this top up. It's a wee bit easier to see here now in the hanger. It is this white little peplum top. Um, it's very, very deep in the V and then you go down to the bottom. The bottom is right here where my fingers are now. Um, and then it's open down below again. There's just two buttons holding it together underneath and then the belt. So I would say you probably need a cami underneath this one, but yeah, it's very, very cute. It has the lace going down here, the whole way down in front of the V. And then again, there at the end of the sleeve. I think this is very, very cute and it was definitely the kind of top that I was looking for. The back of it is just plain like this. Yeah, you can just see the stitch in there um, where the peplum part of the top starts. Okay, I'm in this one. Um, I'm just strategically holding my hand here just while I show you because this V here is completely open. This goes all the way down to where the peplum starts, down where the belt sits. And as you can tell, it'll just fly right open. There is plenty of space in this top. There is no doubt about that. Um, but yeah, it does split completely apart. On the camera, it doesn't actually look to be as see-through as it looks in the mirror. Yeah, I don't actually think it's as see-through as I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, this split here in the front definitely um it's a little bit too open to actually just wear as it is i think i would possibly just throw a white cami underneath it um i get little basic ones in primark that cost two or three pound or something like that and i pop them underneath it it's not as long as i would have liked i would have liked it to be just down a little bit more just so it went down to the bottom of my belly that would have been my preferred length um but yeah, and when you look from the side, but a lot of peplum does that. It kind of, because it goes in um, just under the bust, it kind of sits out a little bit. And because this is not long enough to fall all the way down, it sits out as a little bit of a tent. Um, it might just require a little bit of styling to get this one sitting properly. And I would feel confident in it. But to be honest with you, this is such a pretty top. Look at this lace here. It is so, so pretty. And you know what? It sits so nicely on your skin. It just falls really, really nicely. It stops at the seam up here. So it sits really nicely on the chest. Again, on the sleeve, it has a lovely length just going down just below my elbow, which I actually really, really like. Um, such a pretty top. It's going to look 10 times better without a doubt once I get a wee steam iron on it and a wee cami under it. So obviously I don't have to keep my hand here. Let's see, we'll strategically place the paper right there. Um, I paid $18.99 for this top and I got it in a size 3XL. 
Next up, I remember this. This is a blazer. I am on a complete blazer kick at the moment. I'm desperately trying to find a couple of blazers that would suit uh, like a capsule wardrobe um, that I have. I would like to make them get a hanger. I really want to get a capsule wardrobe going so I have my stable pieces and then work around that. Um, so yeah, I'm searching for a couple of blazers that would fit that. So look at this. Now I really, really like this blazer. It is lined, woohoo! Very, very nice. It has, we got real pockets, long sleeve. There's a wee bit of padding in the shoulders. This looks really, really nice. It looks to be a little bit structured as well. Button details here on the sleeve as well as double buttons down. This is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love the color. What do you think? Oh, I think I could carry that one off. Hmm. It fits. It's not too big. It pulls slightly over my tummy, but let's see how does the shoulders fit. The shoulders actually fit perfect. Look at that, shoulders fit perfect. I don't actually mind that it's a little bit on the tighter side in the tummy because I never close my blazers anyway. Yeah, it feels nice, feels nice. Let's have a look at the back. Yeah, I like it, I like that. It hangs really nice in the body. It's nice and flowy. I would um, roll up the sleeves. Most definitely. It's actually on the longer side on me, I think. But no, I don't mind that because it covers my belly fully. So even if I have a short little top on and my belly sticking out on the side, the blazer will still hide it a little bit. Let's see, what did I pay for this one? I got this in a size 2XL and I paid $33.99 for it. So yeah, again, it's not cheap, but I think most blazers are up that price anyway, £25, £30. So yeah, I can't, I can't see nothing wrong with that. Definitely going to keep this one. It's beautiful and I love the color on it. I love the fit on it. I, I do know the fits perfect over my bust. And that's always the huge problem for me. That's the bust because I am, I have such a large chest. Do you know what? Nothing bad to say about this at all. I really like it. The quality seems really, really nice. It seems like an easy clean material. Obviously all these things will have to be tested. It fits perfect. I love the fact that it has proper pockets. Not that you'd use them much, but it is handy. You know, occasionally just slipping your keys in when you're running around, in and out of the shop or whatever. What is this? I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine, but it's long. Oh, it's the dress. Look at this dress. Oh, when I saw this on the website, I fell in love straight away. I am, like most other women, always in search of the perfect little black dress. I love animal print, absolutely adore animal print. So when I saw the two combined, I thought I have to, have to give this a go. Let me just hang it up. There we go. It is a quite long dress. Oh. That, that's kind of long. That'll be about my knees, I'd say. That's lower than my knees. So, but it is open at the front here. Yeah, it's open all the way up. So you can swing that up here. It looks to be roomy enough. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how low this V is going to be on me if I need a cami in under it, or maybe I can just pin it up. But what I really, really love about this dress is the sleeves. It is a um, mesh sleeve. What is this fabric called? Is sheer? Um, you can see right through it. So you'll be able to see the arm through, but then it has the black cuff on it. I thought this was really, really sweet. Um, a black dress, yes, but a little bit unusual with the sleeves. So I thought I'd give this a go. Right. So here we have this little dress. I've literally just been standing for the last five minutes talking about this dress. Realized I forgot to press record. That's pretty good going, isn't it? <laughs> 
anyway, let's do this again. Um, here's the little dress. Um, absolutely lovely dress, I have to say. Um, it fits me really, really well. There is enough space in the bust and like you could fit even more in there if you needed to. It is a little bit open. Now, this is just as it falls. And that is at the top of my bra, you can just see right there. So I would probably, to wear this out, I would just put a little pin in there just to make sure I didn't just fall apart. Um, as I said, it is open the whole way through. So when I stick my hand in through here, I can open up the whole way over here. And that's as much as I'll show off because the under layer of the skirt is sewn up here. So yeah, there is plenty of modesty in this dress, which I really, really like. It just means that when you sit down, you're not just gonna fall apart. You're not showing everything to the world. I really like that. Um, it does have like pleating here down in the front of the tummy, which makes it sit on me. Even me who has, like I have a really large tummy. It doesn't sit like a tent over it. I really like that too. On the back, it's just straight up and down like this. I definitely don't have too much space around the back area, but again, I'm I'm a very straight, I have a very straight body. I don't have much of a waist compared to the bust and the hips. I'm more straight. So that's just how it sits on my body, but it's not like uncomfortably tight or anything. There is still stretch in it left over. The sleeves. <laughs> left them to last they are so beautiful this shoulder measurement fits me absolutely perfect so i'm delighted with that um and it looks really sweet on it's a nice length of a sleeve on it now the only thing is this fabric and where it's sewn on to the black fabric the stitches it's kind of itchy it's that edge of stitching there I, I don't know what it is but it's itchy and there's the seam underneath here as well and see yeah now it's itchy here when I move my arm here I am very aware that I'm wearing a sleeve which is quite annoying actually because when it sits there and it pulls at you and tweaks at you and itches you you're constantly fidgeting about in the, in the dress this dress I paid $21.99 for and I got it in a 4XL. This looks to be a top. Oh wow. A long sleeve top. I don't remember ordering a long sleeve top. Oh. Okay. My initial reaction to this is I feel like it's a pajama top that I've just taken out of the bag. It is a very thin fabric on the, the black part here. As I'm standing here, I can actually see the light through it. Um, okay, um, the sheer fabric goes all the way up. So it goes up into the like triangle shape for your cover your boobs, but it's sheer up on your chest. And that sheerness carries on into the sleeve. Um, just straight up and down it looks, yeah, there, and then in the back it has a little peekaboo here, I'll just pop that up there, it has a little peekaboo there with a little button there, so if you need that to open it up, I don't think you're going to need that button to put it on and off, I don't think so. My initial reaction is I, I actually feel like this is a bit of a pyjamas, and the fabric very much feels like that soft pyjamas, so yeah, um, Let's see, it's, no, it's viscose and spandex. So it seems to have a good bit of stretch in the fabric itself. So yeah, we'll see how it hangs on the body. I have to look as if I put pajamas on, <laughs> let's try it. Yeah, as I'm putting this on, the button has just popped off. That was the button that was sitting in the back here, keeping the two sides together. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, remember I said it felt a bit like a pajama top? I think it looks like one too. Yeah, the shoulders are slightly too wide on me. Can you see the shoulder seam is actually sitting down my arm? So I prefer my shoulder seams to be up here and not down there. 
I won't say I don't like it, but I'm not sold. Okay, what if we tuck it in a little bit? Does that make it any better? Maybe not with a leopard print belt, but we'll get the idea. I don't really know what to say. I think it's, let's see, what did I pay for this? Top, the black one. I got this in a 4XL and I paid $14.99 for this. Last item in the bag. And I remember that this is should be a blazer as well. Oh, I love the blue color. Interesting. This definitely need a good iron. Oh my God, it needs an iron. This is a double breasted jacket. I'm just going to say close. Yes, we have a buttonhole. We have one buttonhole. Okay, that'll be interesting to try on. No padding in the shoulders. A nice collar on it, but button details on the sleeves as well. Real pockets, again, real pockets. I absolutely love the color of this. Oh my God. It is a very creased. Um, so it's very difficult to show, but it is nicely lined as well, which I really, really like. Best thing is probably just to pop them on and show you. All right, let's try this on, see if it's as much of a success as the camel color one. This one is shorter than the other, and it only has the one buttonhole, so I take it that's how you'd close it. Okay, I'm not so sure I really like it closed because it really gapes over my chest, but it fits, it closes. Shoulders fit perfect as well, sit really, really nice. There was no shoulder pads in this one, which I think might, would have been nice. If just a wee small, thin shoulder pad in would have been nice. Let's look at the back, no split on the back. Just move my hair out of the way. Yeah, but I like it. I'm not so keen on these buttons going up here. I kind of think it looks very gapy. Um, but again, as I said, I tend to keep my blazers open anyway. I wouldn't really close a jacket much. And I would roll up the sleeves. There is a bit of stretch in the material though. So I can pull them up and down if I wanted to. Um, I have a mirror there too. Do you know what? The only thing I'm not really keen on is the buttons. I'm not that keen on those buttons. I just kind of think, do you know what? This one just kind of sit as if, look, they're crooked as well. It's sitting as if it's a little extra nipple. <laughs> do you know what I might actually do? I think I'm going to cut these buttons off it. And then I'm just going to add a blue button down here. Or even just leave the one silver button. Maybe two. I think I'm going to take these four buttons off of it. And you know what? I don't think it's going to cause no harm to the fabric whatsoever, as long as I'm careful. And to be honest, if there is stitch marks in it and they won't go away when I iron them out, I actually think I would just probably pop some blue plastic buttons on it just to kind of, so the buttons are still there, but they're not like in your face. Yeah, this is great. I really, really like it. The color, I'm mad for the color. Let's see, what did I pay for this one? I paid $34.99 for this one. And I got this one in a size 2XL. On Join's website, just like on Shein, when you press on the size, um, up comes the measurements. Now the measurements on this site is in inches and I'm used to centimeters, so I had to kind of convert it before I ordered. But sure, that's a minor, minor detail. But shop by your measurements, not by the size. Now the last item I wanna talk about today is a jacket that I bought from Join's, of course. Um, I bought it back in February. I don't really know where I've seen it. I must have seen it online somewhere and decided to give it a try. Never haven't heard of the company before. And I kind of put it out of my mind because of lockdown, I haven't really been anywhere to actually wear it. And when it landed, it was still too cold to actually wear it out. So it's just kind of been hanging in my wardrobe and I used it for a style video, realizing then that it was from Yoins when I saw it on the website when I was ordering those pieces. So I thought I'm gonna bring this into the haul even though I did buy this a while ago, 
but it's still on the website so yeah it is um it's a longer jacket it has a long sleeve on it the sleeve does go all the way down oh thread falling out there we go so it has a one of these collars on that for love of god can i remember the name of it right now um but there's no yeah there's no kind of collar flip back on it which i really really like we have pockets and they too are real pockets so it is kind of structured which i really really like on it as well it was one of the things that really appealed to me when i saw it and then if you know me you know that i am obsessed with animal print so yeah it has slight padding in the shoulders as well it's only a wee small pad it's not a huge big pad but i just think it's absolutely beautiful and it looks gorgeous with jeans so yeah and when they, they still have it on the website so i thought i might as well share it with you today as well sure let's pop it on i'll show you how it looks so here is this animal print jacket it does have a button to close in the front when and when that's closed it really gives you the illusion of a bit more of a waist simply just because it's a bit more structured now the sleeves are full length um good length on me i am five five and a half so if that's any good to you for reference but i personally prefer having my sleeves folded up a bit so that's where i would keep it like this it is like a denim i don't know if i said it before but it is like a denim jacket fabric it's nice and thick and really structured another thing i really like about this as you can tell i really like this jacket because i've said it like 500 times and um, there's the back of it there let's see i have to put the prices down on this piece of paper i got this jacket in a 3xl and i paid 37.99 for it plus another 4.99 in postage right so my final thoughts on this order um having only tried the denim animal print jacket before not realizing that was where it was from um i'm actually really really happy with the items that i got the black top with the mesh sleeves the polka dots I'm not 100% sure about. I do still think it's very, it's a little bit jammy top, but I will try and style it and I will see what I can come up with with it. Um, the dress, the only thing about the dress, I don't like the sleeves because they're itchy. I love the look of it. Um, but yeah, I might see if there's something I could do with it. I, I, don't, I don't know, I have no idea, but it's definitely something I'm going to investigate because I really do like the look and I think it looks lovely on me. The blazers, I'm in love. The white top, I'm in love. Absolutely perfect. So yeah, overall, I think it's definitely well worth um, giving you a try. Now, I was just looking on, because um, I was wondering, is it euros I paid in, or did because I live in Ireland, or was it in pounds? I, I didn't actually really know. So I just went in on the, on the app and I checked, and it's actually in dollars. All the prices that I've given you were in dollars. I didn't actually realize that. But my entire order, minus the jacket, minus the leopard print jacket, because that's bought separately. Um, but the other five items came in at $131.94. And the only way I could actually see how much that I converted into was going in on my PayPal. And on my PayPal, it says for those five pieces, I paid 108, that's plus shipping, 108 11 pounds. 108 pounds and 11 pence. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, I think so. So £108.11 for those five items. The fact that it's two blazers, a jacket and two tops, I don't think that's expensive because blazers are generally more expensive. You can go to Primark and you'd still pay 25 to 30 euros. So that's about £20, £22 for a blazer in Primark. So again, I don't actually think that those are expensive. Um, and they look lovely. They really, really do. So yeah, I'm looking forward to styling all these pieces and getting good wear out of them once we get out of lockdown and I'd once again get dressed up, not just for the camera, but for actual going out and about in the real world. But sure, we're getting there slowly. But yeah, that so. is it for this time. Um, I really, really enjoyed this haul. Um, I really enjoyed this website and I'll definitely be keeping, out, keeping an eye out for a few more pieces. But listen, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the content on my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. 
and the little notification bell so you'll get updates whenever I upload. I tend to upload both Tuesdays and Fridays, but let's see how that gets on once the kids go back to school and life resumes to normal. But definitely Tuesday and Fridays so far. But listen, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.